It was party time this week in Las Vegas for me. We're going to talk about that and other Las Vegas news here on the latest edition of Freestyle with Mark Fisher. Here we go. Welcome to my channel, Las Vegas Travel and More. My name is Mark Fisher, and this is Freestyle with Mark Fisher. It's my weekly show about all news in Las Vegas and what I've been up to and what I've been doing. Anyway, I want to welcome you to the channel. I hope you enjoy the show. Please subscribe, hit that like button. It definitely helps me out when you do that. So let's get the show started. This past week, I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was party time in Las Vegas. And uh, before I get into that, I wanted to mention, I did a video recently on Pizza Rock, which is great pizza in downtown Las Vegas. Well, uh, Las Vegas News, a new survey came out by Top 50 Pizza, uh, out of Italy actually, rating the top 50 pizza places in 2024 in the United States of America, okay? And there were only two places that were on there for Las Vegas. Pizza Rock was number 28 in the country, okay, and that was the highest rated for Las Vegas. And then there was another pizza place that was number 43, and that was it. Just two places in the entire country that had the best pizza. Pizza Rock was number 28. But Tony Gemgianani, who is the owner and creator of Pizza Rock, he actually has a place in San Francisco that was rated number two in the entire country in San Francisco, but it was number two in the entire country as rated by Top Pizza. And I just wanted to read for you, Top uh, 50 Top Pizza determines its winners by dispatching anonymous inspectors to assess each entry, weighing up factors such as the quality of the product, as well as customer satisfaction. This year, in addition to the annual Pizza Realist, the guide voted for the best pizza slice in the U.S. for the first time ever. Anyway, congratulations to Pizza Rock. It's a great place to go have pizza in Las Vegas, all different kinds. So when you're in Las Vegas, go downtown on 3rd Street and go to Pizza Rock. Uh, you'll be glad you did. And you can watch my little uh, video and review on my channel. So that's the latest news here in Las Vegas regarding that. We had a happy birthday this past week, and this was the party time was. It's happy birthday to Dee and Bobby. Uh, these are uh, twin sisters that uh, they have Brazilian heritage, but they were uh, raised, born and raised in Miami, Florida. And then they moved to New York City after they graduated from high school. Uh, Dee became a bartender at Hogs and Heifers Saloon in New York City in the meatpacking district. And she became a legendary bartender in New York as well as here in Las Vegas. Her sister, uh, Bobby, uh, was a model in New York, and she modeled for several years until she met her husband, who's from Australia, Bill, and uh, they ended up getting married and moving to Australia, and now they have two daughters, and uh, they're living, living happily down there. Dee uh, retired from bartending after several years, and she's now located in Miami, and she's married, and she produces comedy specials and comedy shows uh, for Portuguese audience, Brazilian audience, because uh, obviously their family, their mother and father are from Brazil, and she's been very successful in doing that. But anyway, they decided to come to Las Vegas for their 40th birthday party uh, together, and so... Uh, Bobby and her husband, they flew from Australia, and Dee and her husband and friends flew from Miami, and they organized up a birthday party for them at Hogs and Heifers here in Las Vegas, and here they are right here. That's uh, Bobby on the left, and that's Dee on the right with me, and this was on a Friday night in Las Vegas at the Hogs and Heifers, and uh, these are just some photos. That's the Hogs and Heifers Saloon, which I've talked about before on my channel. It's my favorite go-to bar in Las Vegas. It's right downtown on 3rd Street. I've been going there for over 16 years, and if you're a local and you're a regular in there, it's like the Cheers Bar. Everybody knows your name. When I walk in, they know exactly what the drink is that I'm going to be having. It doesn't matter who the bartender is. And my first drink is always free as a regular. Uh, it's it's a great place. It's a loud body bar, uh, loud music. The bartenders, uh, 
they will insult you. Uh, they'll have fun with you. They'll joke with you. And it's a ribald crowd. So you have to be prepared for that. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's no poker or, or video poker or gambling in there. There's no television sets. The entertainment is the bartenders and the music. And uh, the movie, they don't like to say this, but the movie Coyote Ugly is patterned after Hogs and Heifers uh, back in New York City. Uh, but anyway, this is Hogs and Heifers in Las Vegas, and it's a great place to have a good time. Uh, Michelle Dell is right there on the bar. She's the owner of Hogs and Heifers. She was the owner in New York City. And then when she came to Las Vegas and opened up here, uh, of course, she owns the bar here in Las Vegas as, as well. And uh, she was involved with putting on the uh, birthday party for uh, Dee and Bobby. And here, here's uh, that's uh, Dee on the left. Bobby on the right, and that's uh, Bobby's husband, Bill, in the center, and he's from Australia. And uh, he's a great guy. I had a good time talking with him. I'd never met him before. And he, he is into real estate investment and has for years. And of course, I worked in the mortgage industry. So we had a great conversation about Las Vegas real estate and just real estate in, in general. He's a very, very fun guy. Uh, on the right there, that's Kelly Marshall, and she used to be uh, a bartender at Hogs and Heifers in New York and also a manager both in New York as well as the Hogs and Heifers here in Las Vegas. And she also is uh, retired as a bartender, but that's her and her boyfriend. And Kelly is the one who organized up the party and contacted me and told me that Dee and Bobby were coming to town and would I like to come to the birthday party. So, I, of course, I, I, I definitely wanted to do that. Uh, here's me and Bobby's husband, Bill. Like I said, we had a great conversation. There's Dee and myself. I visited Dee a, a few times down in Miami when I've gone on vacation and cruises. Uh, she's a good friend. Uh, she's an amazing dancer, an amazing bartender, and lots of fun. And uh, so we, we developed a, a friendly relationship that goes on for many, many years. And all the regulars that are watching this who have uh, been to Hogs and Heifers over the year, they know and appreciate Dee and her bartending skills and her personality and entertainment uh, skills. Uh, this is on the left there is Tiffany, who also was one of the original bartenders here in Las Vegas at Hogs and Heifers, and also one of the managers at the bar, and along with Dee. And they've been good friends for many, many years, and so she was at the party as well. And that's Dee up there dancing on the bar along with, uh, I think that's, oh, Tiffany in the center there. And, uh, you know, the bartenders get up on the bar about once an hour and they dance. And so they encourage uh, the female patrons who are there at the bar also to get up there and dance with them. So it, it was a good time had there. This is Bobby and Tiffany. Other bartenders who used to work at Hogs and Heifers, you know, you, you develop a friendship with them when you uh, are a regular in Las Vegas at Hogs and Heifers. And this is Veronica, otherwise known as V. Uh, who was a bartender for several years in Las Vegas. And then she went and she started her own uh, wedding business uh, where people can uh, actually rent their wedding gowns, their tuxedos and that type of thing near the Las Vegas Strip. And she's created this tremendous business for people coming to Las Vegas who uh, need all their wedding planning taken care of and her business and her partners they've been very successful with it but i haven't seen uh veronica in some time and it was great to see her she's a really good friend there's veronica again with kelly marshall here's the birthday cake that was done and they're taking uh photographs of it with the candles and then there i am with bobby and d and that's the birthday cake with a photo of the two of them on the uh, birthday cake and like I said, it was fun time had by all, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Hogs and Heifers is always fun, and I encourage people, if you come to Las Vegas, uh, it's a great place to go visit downtown on 3rd Street. It's not far from the Mob Museum or from Fremont Street Experience. Uh, the, the prices are reasonable. It's, it's not a foo-foo drink place. You're not going to get wine in there. Uh, as a matter of fact, they say no whining and no wine uh, in the bar. But they don't, they, uh, so it's basically a beer and shot bar. Uh, they do do some mixed drinks, but don't go in there looking for a martini or anything like that because they don't do that. They also don't uh, have limes or lemons or anything like that for drinks. You know, it, it's a straight up dive bar. Uh, some people call it a biker bar. There are people who are motorcycle enthusiasts who go to that bar, but I never rode a motorcycle in my life. And I go there and I met my attorney there and I've met a lot of people there. So it's a great place uh, for a, a rocking good time. And I enjoy going there on the weekends 
uh, in the daytime when it's not quite so busy. So anyway, hogs and heifers, uh, great birthday party. Happy birthday to Dee and Bobby. Uh, they've since gone back home. They had a good time here in Las Vegas. And I wish them many, many, many more years of happiness and success. The other thing that happened this week is we had another visitor in town, uh, Las Vegas visitors. Uh, my partner on my other channel, Janice Gillum Grady, and I, Hero and Shannon Komodo, they came to town. And these were people that used that we've known for many years when we were in uh, Scientology before, and we hadn't seen them in a long time. And so they came to visit uh, to Las Vegas, and they were here for seeing a show at the Sphere, uh, the new Sphere Theater over by the Venetian Hotel. Uh, the remaining members uh, of the Grateful Dead are appearing there now, and Hero and Shannon are big time uh, deadheads. And so they came and they saw two shows there, but it was great to see them. That's Hero there on the left with Janice in the middle, and then Shannon on the right. And of course, Janice's granddaughter, Elizabeth, there is in the center. And here's all four of us with me as well. You can see me there on the left. And then this is myself with Hero and Shannon. Hero and Shannon are very successful uh, since they left Scientology. Uh, they started up their own handyman bu business called, uh, I think it's Heroes, Heroes Handymans or whatever. Started as a, you know, just doing handyman jobs around uh, the Atlanta area. But they've built up to the point where they do full remodels and kitchen additions and, and you name it. And they're very big and they're highly respected in the Atlanta era, area. So it's great to see them. Uh, come here. They've been very successful since they left Scientology, and uh, we really appreciated them coming by here to visit. Anyway, that's that so far. I've got something to show you here. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, all three of you are here. I got the ball. Ready? Go. That's Rocky and Moose. Those are Janice's dog. And she was house sitting for a, a little dog there called Misty. And Misty got the better of Rocky and Moose. I thought you might enjoy that bit, little video there. So I thought that would be cute. Uh, please excuse me this one indulgence. I'm not being political here, but I got this in the mail this morning and I just wanted to sound off on it. Uh, the high cost of medical in America is unbelievable. As you, as some, many of you may know, my mother had a stroke recently, about six weeks ago, and uh, we had to rush her to the hospital. And the hospital saved her life uh, by administering uh, a, a drug which dissolved the blood clot in time so that she actually made a, a full recovery. She was in the hospital for five days, and now she's back in her group home, and she's doing fine. I just saw her again yesterday and all that. All right, so it was an emergency situation. She had to go to the hospital and she's covered by Medicare here in the United States. And then she also, because my dad was in the military for so long, she also has military insurance as a backup, which is called TRICARE. Anyway, I just got, you know, a statement of her time in the hospital at uh, the Spring Valley Hospital, which I credit for saving her life. They did a great job and all that, and I don't blame the doctors or the nurses or anybody, but I can't believe how much they billed Medicare for my mother's uh, stay in the hospital, okay? Uh, Luckily, it cost my mother zero. She had nothing. She didn't have to pay anything because it was covered by uh, Medicare. But you're not going to believe how much uh, they billed Medicare for my mother's hospital stay. All right. I'm going to read it to you right now. The total. The total was $293,149. That's right. $293,149. $149 is what she was charged for going to the hospital that uh, Spring Valley, well, the hospital charged Medicare, okay, 
My mother didn't have to pay it, but that's what they charge Medicare for those services. So I'm going like, that's outrageous. I mean, you know, my mother is paying zero, right? But that money, that money, that Medicare money comes out of the tax dollars of American citizens, right? So I decided, well, let me take a look. How, how could that be so high, okay? Well, okay, five days in the hospital, hospital room, $15,000. All right, you know, that's expensive, but uh, that's fine. Um, but here, here's here's the ones that were really big. There's a lot of them that are on here, but this was really big, okay? Uh, the pharmacy, the medication that they gave her to save her life, right? And then also, you know, any medication that she was on for the five days that she was there. Uh, the pharmacy portion of the bill was $53,354. That's $53,354 for the medication that they used there during the five days. Okay? Unbelievable. All right? But it's not, that's not the worst, though. You're not going to believe the worst. All right. My mother had, you know, different tests and lab work and things like that while she was in there. They were checking on her, making sure everything was OK. Right. Um, but this a CT scan. OK. She had a CT scan and many of us have had CT scans. I've had them before and all that. It's it takes maybe five minutes to do and all that. OK. The CT scan, uh, the hospital billed Medicare. One hundred and four thousand eight hundred and sixty two dollars. That's one hundred and four thousand eight hundred and sixty two dollars. You would think they could buy a brand new machine for that amount of money. That's outrageous. Between the pharmacy and the CT scan, it was one hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars of the two hundred and ninety three thousand dollar bill. The rest of it is like huge charges. Eight thousand dollars for lab work. Uh, you know, seven thousand dollars for supplies. I'm, the doctors uh, got paid here. Uh, the emergency room doctor got seventeen thousand three hundred and sixty-four dollars. Okay, you know, that's it's going to be expensive for a doctor. Fine. I can't believe a hundred and four thousand dollars for a CT scan and fifty-three thousand dollars for pharmaceuticals. So you wonder why our medical care in the United States is so high and so expensive. Um, Basically, if somebody's on Medicare, it's like you have an uh, open charge card, uh, an American Express black card. The hospitals will bill whatever, and Medicare doesn't question it. They just pay it, I guess. I mean, I'm shocked. You know, the, the notice said she owes zero. She doesn't owe any money. My mom doesn't owe any money. It's all got somebody paid it, you know. So anyway, I was really, really surprised when I saw this because I knew, you know, that it would be expensive going to a hospital. But $293,000? Plus, are you kidding me? I'm glad my mother's here. That's for sure. The hospital did a great job, and that's a tribute to the uh, doctors and nurses and the care that she got. But you know, something's out of whack when uh, you know our medical expenses are that that expensive. Anyway, I'll get off my high horse now, and uh, we'll get back to the show. All right. Uh, here's the next question that I had uh, is right here. Hey, Mark, what are you watching? Bing, bing, bing. What are you watching? Okay, well, uh, this is where I make my recommendations of things that I've been watching. I finished Black Sails uh, on Netflix. It's on Netflix. It used to be on Stars several years ago. This is the second time I've watched it. There's four seasons, 10 episodes each, and I watched one a night, and it's a fantastic show. I loved it just as much, if not more, the second time around. I tell people it's Pirates of the Caribbean meets Game of Thrones. That's what the show's about, and it's really, really well worth it. So if you have Netflix, uh, I highly recommend you watch uh, Black Sails. You won't be disappointed. Apple TV, the next thing I wanted to mention, okay, <clears throat> there's lots of streaming services with lots of different shows and channels, and right now I'm on a hobby horse for Apple TV, okay, it's $7 or whatever it is a month, <clears throat> but I, if you, if you just get it for one month, maybe two, I can recommend some great shows, uh, 7 or $8 is much less than a ticket to go see the movies at the movie theater, right, you can watch for a whole month these, these shows. All right. I'm watching this show right now called Constellation, and I'm only two episodes in, and I'm totally, totally hooked on it. Uh, there's eight episodes in the first season, and uh, it's about uh, an accident, an uh, astronaut up on the International Space Station and having to evacuate, and then a bunch of eerie stuff start happening to her. And it's, it's really, really well, well done on Apple TV. 
And uh, one of the stars of the show is Jonathan Banks, who played Mike on Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. And uh, the woman there is Nomi Rapace, who many people may know as a Swedish actress who was in the original uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. So anyway, I can't Constellation on Apple TV. I highly recommend it. But like I said, you know, it's worth it to rent to or to subscribe to Apple TV, even if you just do it for a month to watch several of these shows. These are shows that I've watched there that I highly recommend. One, another one I finished this week is Dark Matter. It's a really good show, eight episodes, and uh, it's now there. You can stream the whole season if you want to, and it's with Joel Edgerton and Jennifer Connelly and Elise Braga, and it's, it has to do with multiple universes. Uh, it's very sci-fi, and I think uh, people will enjoy it, called Dark Matter. Another show that I watched on there was Monarch Legacy of Monsters. I'm not a monster person, but this is about Godzilla and these monsters on Earth. It stars Kurt Russell and his son, Wyatt. And then the reason I watched it was because of Anna Sawai. She's one of the main characters, and of course, she's from the show Shogun. And I really enjoyed that, but uh, it was worth watching, and that's also on Apple TV. This show here, Sugar, it stars Colin Farrell as a detective in Los Angeles and Hollywood, and he's got a secret. And uh, it's, again, really, really well done. Uh, and they finished the first season, so you can watch Sugar. Uh, with Colin Farrell, also on Apple TV. And I highly recommend all of those shows. I think you'll get your money's worth. Just subscribe to Apple TV. I'm not, you know, a proponent of Apple TV normally, but, you know, that's what I do. I'll, I'll pick I'll pick different streaming services. Netflix is kind of my staple. I don't change from that. But if I want to watch something on Paramount Plus or whatever, I'll go ahead and subscribe for a month and I'll watch that and anything else. And then you can cancel. It's very easy to just cancel. Uh, after you're done with that. So anyway, those that's what I'm watching right now. I want to tell everybody I appreciate you watching. I just wanted to mention if you'd like to become a member of my channel, Las Vegas Travel and More, channel memberships are available. It's a voluntary way to contribute to the channel and you receive perks. I've got two membership levels. Freestyler is my basic uh, it's just $2.99 a month. There's no contract. You can cancel at any time. Uh, you get loyalty badges in whenever we do chats, custom emojis for chats, and then priority reply to comments. It's just basically a basic support to help me so that I can do more videos, do more travel, and per, you know provide better content to you. And then my second level is a high roller level, and that's uh, $9.99 a month. No contract. Cancel any time. And you get all the perks from the previous level. Um, I'm going to be doing members only live streams for the high rollers and then also you get a 10% discount on any merchandise that I put up on my channel. So anyway, uh, it's again, it, both of those are just a great way for you to uh, support the channel. If you're interested in joining, you just click on the join button next to the subscribe button on your PC or laptop. In other words, you go to my homepage, Las Vegas Travel and More on your PC or laptop and at the top where it's got the subscribe button. You just click on the join button and there's a short video that describes the two levels and you can follow the instructions there to join. And I wanted to welcome, I've got several new members to my channel. Um, I've got Terry, I've got Doug, I've got Monica, I've got Denver Stevo, and I've got Apostate Alex. Uh, and of course, my friend Janice Gillum Grady, they're all members of my channel and I appreciate their support. Also, Cheryl Luz seven from las vegas she's also a member of my channel so i want to shout them out and thank them for their support so if you'd like to be a member like i said just go ahead and go to uh that join button on the pc or laptop and you can join uh, while you're there please subscribe to the channel as well definitely helps if you've got any questions or comments please ask them down below. I will respond to them and uh, I, I look forward to your comments. Anything that you'd like to talk about, you know, what shows you watching, anything like that, you can go ahead and get down in there. And then another way that you can uh, support the show is you can buy me a coffee. There's a link down below in the description. Uh, somebody just bought me 10 coffees the other day and I really appreciated it. And uh, so anyway, it's just another way that you can support the show by buying me a coffee. Anyway, that is the show for this week. I hope you all have a great week. Uh, more Las Vegas news to come here at um, Freestyle with Mark Fisher. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.